What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Clark Hasla, better known as Adventure Athlete, and welcome back to another video. Today, I wanna get a chance to talk with you guys about how I got recruited to come play football here in France. But right now, I'm currently headed to downtown Tours. I wanna get a chance to show you guys a little sneak peek as to what my city looks like right now, currently here in France. So I'm gonna catch up with y'all once we get downtown. Yeah. All right, everybody, so as y'all can see behind me, I'm currently here in the downtown area in Tours. This isn't, I think, the center of Tours, but I'm still learning my geography of the whole city here. This is the Hotel de Ville behind me. I'm not gonna be sending my drone up in the air to give you guys another perspective. There's you guys a sneak peek of what the downtown of Tour looks like. But with that said, as y'all just saw my most recent video, my first game day vlog was posted on my channel. I got a lot of questions from you guys. The one specifically that kept coming up the most was the fact that my first game here in France was my first start in six years. And this is true. I haven't got a chance to really tell you guys my full football story yet in terms of where I went to high school, my recruiting process. But if I were to give you guys a long story short, essentially I started as a freshman at 14 years old on my high school football team at Squawkham High School and then started from my freshman to my junior year. Then once my junior year came around, I decided to transfer to another high school and unfortunately I ended up not getting the opportunity to start there. So my recruiting process slowed down a bunch. Really it came down to that's why I ended up choosing to go to a division three college instead of walking on. And I know everyone who went D3 says they should have gone D1 but that's what happened to me. I didn't start my senior year so the D1 schools didn't see my progression from my junior to senior year. So I went to Linfield College and I was there for about four and a half years. My freshman year I got a little chance to play Oh my gosh, this tram. I haven't rode this thing yet, but it's super cool. So then I got to Linfield College my freshman year. Ultimately, I just didn't come in to my freshman year of college prepared. And if I could go back and change one thing, I would have prepared a lot more for that. But I ended up not starting my freshman year. It was the backup my sophomore year. My junior year, I got hurt, tore my labrum in my right hip. So I had to redshirt for that whole year. Came back from my redshirt junior year and I was competing against another quarterback. I'll get a chance to explain more of this whole story in some future videos, but that quarterback beat me out and I was the backup. Come back from my fifth year and again I was the backup quarterback at Linfield so to explain to you guys again I did get some playing time on the field but I never started a game in college I never even played a meaningful down that mattered in college so the underdog mentality is something that I really really adopted because that's basically what I am getting the chance to come out here to France and show you guys that even though I was a backup division three quarterback and I never played through the power of YouTube and not giving up on a dream you can still accomplish the goals you want to in life and get the chance to explore the world and that's what I'm doing right now here in France it's super super cool I'm really excited to get the chance to be bringing you guys along with me on my journey but that's my little rant in regards to why I have not started in six years and to come into my first game in France and absolutely tear it up with my team I was super super happy about that and overall my goal coming in was I only had six practices before that first game I really wanted to make sure that I built some team chemistry with my teammates and I think I have so far and love them to death they've helped me so much in terms of just living here feeling like I'm at home understanding a little bit of French here and there and getting the first First win of the season was a real big success for me and just overall big confidence booster because one of the toughest things not getting a chance to start for six years was I've been working so hard all the time as a backup quarterback I've been working harder sometimes than the starting quarterback because you know the backups have to put in so much more work and there's times where the starting quarterback has to take time off during the week during practice because he might be beat up from the game before it just comes to show that over the past six years I've literally put in so much time and effort to be playing football and in my college career I've probably played if you added all the time time up one quarter one quarter of football and because I stuck to the process and I trusted the process that is why I am here now as well as my YouTube channel which was really the big seller for my coach in terms of getting the chance to know who I am as a player because when you come in as an import player most Americans we have a reputation of being cocky Americans so my coach got the chance to get to know who I was through my YouTube channel by getting the chance to see my videos and thanks to you guys because my videos are getting views because y'all are taking the time to watch my videos while I take a break from my little rant real quick this is the main street right here through the center of tour this is where all these shops are right now I was about to take you guys to get my favorite meal here in downtown but it's Sunday and I didn't know that all the stores are closed on Sunday so I'm now learning that so some other questions you guys have been asking me a lot in some of my most recent videos are am I getting paid or not I'm gonna be doing a full video on this whole subject and getting the chance to just kind of shine light on opportunities to play football over here in France in some upcoming videos so make sure you guys stay tuned for that it is super windy out here right now so I hope this audio sounds good I'm probably gonna take you guys back to my apartment like I said get a chance to break down how I got recruited to come play football here in France so with that said let's head back to my apartment 
All right, guys, so like I mentioned, I was gonna be taking you guys to my favorite restaurant here in town, but everything's closed on Sundays besides McDonald's. We're gonna go get some McDonald's right now, no shame. Yeah. Missy, uh, well, oh my goodness. I could not be more excited to be eating my McDonald's. And like I said, I need to be going to the grocery store tomorrow because I have no groceries. As an American, I had no idea that all the grocery stores and restaurants and pretty much every store but McDonald's was gonna be closed on Sunday. Kind of bummed, but I am super excited, super excited for my McDonald's. The McDonald's is literally like right down the street from my apartment. Literally, it's like a one minute walk, which is super convenient. And whenever my Wi-Fi isn't working, I always go there. So we're about to head back to my apartment and we're gonna munch and get a chance to talk about how I got recruited to come play here in France. Yeah. All right guys, welcome back to my apartment. We are live and I have my McDonald's right here. I got first an orange juice, cause I do not drink soda. Another bag inside a bag. Let's see what's in the bag. Potato wedges was the first. No, they didn't put my four chicken nuggets in here. Are you kidding me? Bro. Okay, McDonald's in France, you guys owe me four piece chicken nugget. I have the receipt right here. Oh no, no, what the I took someone else's meal, guys. I took 18. This is Coke, potato wedges, and a small burger. I'm supposed to have a Big Mac BLT chicken nuggets and wedges. All right, we'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back and I got two bags from McDonald's. Went back there, they kindly gave me my meal and then actually ended up giving me the meal that I had originally. So, your boy's gonna be eating good today. I have my four chicken nuggets, my BLT Big Mac, my orange juice. What's interesting is they call it Chinese sauce instead of sweet and sour like we do in US. I got some ranch, which they call creamy deluxe, interesting. And then I got a Coke, which I don't know if I'm gonna drink because like I said, I don't drink soda. Some wedges, I wanna try something different. We don't have wedges back in the US, we just have normal french fries. And then it looks like a double cheeseburger. So I'm gonna have to make sure that I'm hitting the gym tough tomorrow because I got a lot of food as y'all can see right here. My mouth is starting to water just looking at all this stuff. But going back to what this whole video is all about, how I ended up getting recruited to play football here in France. Literally the day after my last football game, which I think was Sunday, November 24th, I got the phone call from my now head coach, Coach Abed, here in France. Yeah, yeah. We started getting a chance to chat a little bit about the opportunities of playing football overseas. He got in touch with me through Twitter, but originally how he heard and found out that I was interested in playing football overseas was I created a Euro Players account. Essentially, Euro Players allows me as an international player to create a profile where then coaches overseas can get a chance to see who is interested in playing ball. It's basically the middleman between the coaches and teams overseas and any import players in America. After getting a chance to create this Euro Players account, like I said, my coach reached out to me. He also saw my YouTube channel, like I mentioned, and that's how he really got to get the chance to know who I am as a player, because I really just had a lot of practice film that I've compiled over the past six years. It's now time, I need to have a bite of this Big Mac Bacon BLT. We do not have the Big Mac BLT back in the US, so that's why I picked it for today. I feel so fat eating all this food right now, but I have no groceries. Later this week, I'm gonna be showing you guys what I eat as an American football player here in France because food's so different, but it's so amazing. I love it. I'm just balling on a budget right now. So you guys taking the time to watch my videos, you're helping support me. I appreciate it a lot. I also do have a Patreon account down below, which I'm trying to get working. So I can get the chance to make a little bit more money for some food here in France. So if you guys are interested in supporting me more, feel free to check out my Patreon and other social media links down in the description below. This also brings up my SMS system, which I just recently launched, as you guys can see right here, or maybe it's here, I think right here. I can actually text all of you guys individually, as well as every month I'm gonna be sending out three broadcasts to basically get a chance to update you guys on what I'm doing, as well as if I have any coupons or discount codes for a variety of companies that I work for, or any value that I find that I wanna share with you guys, I can now connect directly with y'all. I think that's super cool. Like I said, all you guys gotta do is text me, and then you guys will be able to get notifications whenever I send out my broadcast. So after my coach got the chance to get in touch with me, like I said, Euro Players was the account that I 
I use to get discovered here in France as well as my social media accounts essentially did help. There's also another platform called Podium where I think it's just like Euro players where you make your own account. So for those of you guys that are interested in playing football overseas, I definitely recommend you guys make an account for both Euro players and for Podium. And that's how y'all can get a chance to get connected with these coaches and get the chance to play ball when you're done in college. But what's super crazy is for those of you guys that are in high school and you're debating of going Juco or D3, spending a lot of money or not playing at a great Juco, you guys can go straight out of high school to play football overseas. This is something that's not talked about. You guys hear about LaMelo Ball going and playing basketball overseas and now he's coming back and probably is gonna be the number one draft pick. It's super crazy that it's not talked about that that opportunity is offered for players that are playing football. But I definitely have to let y'all know, like getting the chance to move here in France, I did experience like some culture shock and it is different playing overseas. So if y'all are in a phase in life right out of high school where you really know yourself and you think you can make the move to play ball overseas, I'd recommend doing it. But I also would recommend you guys going and getting a chance to play in college for a little bit. Get your education, but if things really are not working out and you really wanna focus on playing football, look at your options to playing football overseas. So in conclusion, creating a Euro Players account and a Podium account is gonna allow you guys to be able to get discovered to play football overseas. And I challenge all of you guys to create a YouTube channel to get the chance to document your journey. Because really, my YouTube channel is what was really able to separate me as a player compared to other recruits that might've been able to go play football overseas. Because I've been able to shine light on the Pioneers organization and bring them in some more fans, that's how I was able to create leverage. And also for my coach to get a chance to not only see who I am as a player, but also as a person. So with that said, everybody, I'm gonna be finishing up this video by munching on McDonald's, but I wanna give you guys a little sneak peek in regard to the game day vlog that's gonna be dropping next Saturday. Thanks again, y'all, for showing so much love and support. I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah. Mm. Let's keep working hard and complaining. What the goodness? What the goodness?